welcome to your house of happiness. My name is Janki Ravani and I'm your happiness coach. My job is to simplify happiness for you because as simple as the word happy might sound, people all over the world find it one of the most difficult things to be. Just happy. And I always say if you want to be happy, just be. Stop indulging in all those other things that are distracting you from being happy. But for that, you will have to understand yourself, your mind and a few things about happiness. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. In this video, I'm going to share one very, very important thing that the mind constantly does, which if you just stop doing, and of course, I'm going to tell you how, you will be a lot happier in your life. So here's the insight that I understood. The nature of the mind is to attach meaning. Now, there are a lot of people in the past who have made quotes about this. Nothing has any meaning other than the meaning you attach to it. This is one of the quotes of Tony Robbins, which I read. Nothing has any meaning other than the meaning you attach to it. Then whatever meaning you attach becomes your truth, your reality, the direction of your story, because you are constantly narrating it in your head. Take a simple example, rain. The monsoons are just about to begin. And let's say it rains. The minute you think of rain, what is the thought that came to your head? Was it a positive memory? Was it a negative memory? Do you find it romantic? Do you find it traumatizing? Different people attach different meanings based on their experiences in the past. And that then becomes every time they see rain or think of the word rain, that meaning that they've attached superimposes itself on the current moment. So now you can't see the reality as it is, just as rain. You see it as, oh, this is the first time my boyfriend proposed to me in the rains, or I had a breakup in the rain. So depending on whether it's a happy thing or a sad thing, you're constantly attaching meaning to your life. Now, once you've understood this, understand also this, that whatever meaning you attach, it's pointless. It doesn't matter because whatever, it doesn't matter what's happening. The meaning you are attaching to it is what is important. Let me say that again. It doesn't matter what is going on around you. The meaning you are attaching to it is what matters. Which means if you have a failure and the meaning that you attach is, I'm useless. I could never get this right. I should just quit and give up. Okay, that becomes your reality. You are useless then and you are a failure. But if you have a failure and the meaning you attach is like, hmm, okay, this didn't really work out. What can I do differently to make sure it works out better next time for me? Are you seeing? The meaning that you attach is constantly shaping your life, is constantly shaping your experiences. So if you just become mindful of the inner chatter, of the meaning you are attaching, your life can be so much simpler. Let's say somebody insults you and the meaning you attach to it is, they always do this to me. Nobody has any value. Everybody treats me like this. I'm not important for anyone in this family or in this organization. You just devalued yourself on your own. But let's say somebody insults you and you say, mm, okay, it sucks. They insulted me. I did not like it. But uh, what if they're going through a really bad day? What if they're going through a separation or they're fighting some battle of their own which I don't even know about? Can I be there for them? Or can I just give them some space and go back after an hour or a day or two and check in like, hey, what was really going on? Your behavior that day was unacceptable or really shocking. Are you seeing how these little narratives that are constantly going on in your head are shaping your life in real time? And are you willing to take the responsibility to start being more mindful of the narrative? And all you have to do is mind, be mindful. Because once you start becoming mindful, automatically your narrative will start becoming more positive. And when I say positive, it is not about good or bad. It is just about more positive in the sense that it will actually start working for you. It will actually start, you'll start choosing a narrative that works in your favor instead of working against you. Try this. Keep a diary, keep a journal. And every day before going to bed, just notice what meaning, what, what all happened today? 
what meaning did I attach to it and if I was being mindful and as is in remember it's one of the tools we shared check out that video as well if I was simply as is in looking at things as they are as an interesting point of view not as something good or bad or not making myself a victim and them the villain or something dramatic what can I mindfully attach what meaning can I mindfully attach to what's going on keep that journal and see the magic within a few days you will start becoming so aware of your thoughts it will empower you in ways you cannot imagine it will definitely make you happier that I can tell you with absolute certainty so stay tuned for more practice this for a week and come back to me and share your results take care stay safe and